Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the most expensive and the least expensive expeditions, inventions, masterpieces, and vacations of both Zendikar, Kaladesh, and most recently Amaket. So when you open a booster pack, the only way that you can pretty much make back the what the pack is worth unless you can get a fatal push and you're opening a for revolt is to open a chase mythic one of a few very few cards very few rares non-mythics that can that are worth the value of the pack or a invention invention expedition i'm just going to call them masterpieces from this point on so with each of the masterpieces, there are some that are extremely valuable and there are some that are not. So it's a lottery within a lottery. Because just because you won the lottery does not mean that you have paid the cost of the box. Now, if you got something like a fetch land, a foil fetch land or ancient tomb, you would be very well off because each of those, even at ancient tomb, can pay for the entire box. And then everything else, you can kind of say, oh, well, I got that for free, or that didn't cost me very much, which is ideal for a casual player because a casual player can then sell the expedition and maybe open another box. Now, on to the lottery aspect. This reminds me of a Dave and Buster's game where it is called Speed Devil. I don't know if you guys played it, but I will try my best to explain it. You need to hit one of those red so you have a wheel and a wheel has every one out of three places is what where you want to hit you want to hit a red spot the other two places are ticket numbers but very low and when you hit the red st spot you still have to hit the bigger wheel so you have to do it's not enough to win the lottery once you have to win it again and that is what the inventions, expeditions, all of this reminds me of is that Dave and Buster's game called, I believe it's called like Speed Devil. It's an older game. Sometimes I see it in Carnival State Fairs as well. Because it is possible that you hit a Tectonic Edge, Syndiclade, Prairie Stream, Canopy Vista, Sunken Hollow, which is an interesting one at 25. That's not one that I would expect to be at 25 and continuing to decline, R.D. Mars at less than 24, which will pay for multiple packs, but even if you had a really bad fat pack, it's not gonna pay for your entire fat pack cost, which is unfortunate because you just won the lottery, right? It's not enough to win once, you gotta win again. So you pulled an, a masterpiece, great, what masterpiece did you pull? There is a huge difference between $24 and $200. It's exactly another lottery. Winning the lottery in Magic the Gathering terms is not good enough. You need to win twice. And this also happens, we see this happen with Kaladesh as well. To a lesser extent, Kaladesh cards are, as you can see, the top five, they tend to be less pricey than the top five expeditions because the expeditions are land soul ring being 165 crucible it's about time to reprint that card i feel i feel like in iconic masters it must be an iconic masters chalice of the void also going to be a great reprint although they did reprint it in the original modern masters i believe mana crypt reprinted twice again uh, mox opal mana vault a very good card. That card has gotten, I didn't realize it was $100 for the invention, but it is. So you can either get $165 or below $25. Now this system, like any lottery system in any game at Dave and Adams, the house always wins. And in this case, the house would be your local game store and more to the point, the distribution network as well as Wizards of the Coast, depends on how many levels you wanna go up. I get this question somewhat often, and the question is, okay, I feel like the expected value of a box is more than the what I can buy the box at. 
that typically will never be the case uh, because if the expected value of a box, not retail, I'm talking about what you can sell the items of the box at is more than, than the store will open all of its boxes, right? Because let's say, let's take example, a box is $100 and the store buys it for $76 and the expected value of a box is $110 after labor fee, after time, after stamps, after shipping merchant, after all that cost, then no, no store would ever sell you a box at 100. Maybe they will sell it to you 110 or 115, but they're not going to sell it at $100 because the value of the box after all overhead is 110. It just, it's like giving out free money, right? So here you can get Black Vice, Mind's Eye, which is gorgeous that these cards are very pretty so one of the things i want to say is as you can see this list of cards all 30 dollars or under you can buy masterpieces masterpieces are not meant for the super rich magic player they're meant for everyone and i believe that's correct that you do want different levels of masterpieces and you do want different buy-ins like the golems or the gear hulks are interesting Duplicant is really interesting. Meekstone is. All these less expensive ones, even to a lesser extent, Black Vice, they're beautiful cards for that price. The price of a Gideon, you can get a Black Vice Expedition. I know Gideon Ally, Ven uh, Ally of Zendikar is unlikely to hold price after rotation. I know the a lot of cards in Standard, including Liliana of the Last Hope, is not going to hold its price as well as let's say any $30 um, masterpiece. So lastly, let's go on to the big one. Just when you felt you couldn't gamble even more extreme and the market couldn't be more volatile. Amakat brings you a, a invocation set, which it's force of will and then nothing else over hundred. Force of will being close to 180, 190, and then you got your days, your cryptic man, your Ronos, pack of negation, consecrated sphinx under 50, and that is it. So in terms of the expeditions, they tend to be more valuable because they are land and you have all 10 fetch lands, all 10 shock lands. So it is pro more probable than not you get a okay expedition. But when you go to Caldas, it is more top heavy, I guess, towards the top, or there's more value within the few, first few cards and there's less value altogether. And that towards the end, you have less valuable cards than the expeditions. However, it's still reasonable. And on Marquette, we see what an actual lottery is. So in that speed demon game again, you have to go, you have to stop and stop and stop it's like hitting the lottery although it is considered a skill game it's hitting the lottery over and over and over again and not only is it not enough to hit an invocation all right you're you are super lucky you got an invocation and not only is it enough to hit a top five or ten invocation you gotta hit the number one invocation. you gotta hit force of will or bust and as you can see, the rest of the cards, you have Divert at 17 and a bunch of $20 cards, $30 cards. And this is a true lottery. Amaket is an absolute lottery. There is one winning ticket. It is called the Force of Will. It's the only card in Amaket that can literally buy back the box. Every other card, you do need a little bit of help. Even something like as good as Pack of Negation, which... I feel like it's a reasonable price for what it is, uh, given how much it sees play. And I don't, I, I'm getting to like it. I like it because it's really cheap. It made the art design made these extremely cheap. And if they do, it's not about whether or not you, I love it. I don't love it. I don't love what the invocations look like. But when Warshop is $25, and I'm thinking, huh. That's a good card. I can play that in the ED8s. That's one of my favorite cards. And I don't want to buy a foil one because it's, it's, 
I, I believe it's like a lot more expensive than $25. I got to look it up again. But the last time I checked it up, it was like 50 or $60 was the offer I had a few years ago. And also like Avon Mind Center, we haven't talked about that card very much given the fact that it was such an expensive card before reprint. But the share amount of cards being reprinted and the share amount of this size is insane. Anyway, let me know what your favorite expedition is. Bye guys.